Check this out. I'm going to teach you the original version of the two card Monty. All you need is two different cards. In this case, we'll use a black two and a red three. Don't pay attention to the black two. That's a nonsense card. It's only there to distract you. The red three is the one you want to follow. So I'm going to take one of these cards, not going to say which one. I'm going to put it right behind my back. If you have eagle eyes, I would ask you which card is behind my back. And you probably are thinking the red three, but you'd be totally wrong. And I'd have all your money because I'm a rich billionaire sucker hustler. Not that you're a sucker, but you are gonna learn exactly how to do this trick, how to do it yourself, and you'll even get the props because right now it is go time for the show dedicated to the show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Hello, you beautiful citizens of the internet. I'm Brian Brushwood, and we've got to congratulate last week's winners. Congratulations to Cameron for being our randomly selected winner. And double secret congratulations go to Andres, who was one of 800 of you guys who figured out that the serial numbers on Iron Man's chest weren't random. Those were binary, and if you decoded them, you got the secret message. Hulk. We did get a bunch of people chiming in that they hope nobody smashed the video or that they were filled with rage <laughs> or that they were green with envy. You did well, guys. All right, guys, so that trick I showed you is one of the first magic tricks I ever learned. It's called the Two Card Monty. Yes, I know David Blaine did something called the Two Card Monty, but that was fancy pants and required skill and sleight of hand and training. This has none of that. This one only requires a simple gimmick you can make at home. When you flash the cards at the beginning, it looks like you have a red three and a black two sitting back to back. That's not the case at all. What you actually have is a double-backed card and a double-faced card. But when you hold them, it looks like one's face up and the other's face down. Now, if you were to just flip them over like this, very quickly you'd be able to see that one's a double face and one's a double back. The secret move is, as you turn your hand over, you're just gonna slide the card across with your thumb. That's gonna make the cards look like they would if you weren't cheating. You can flip the cards over and have it look even more fair by turning them over end over end, just like so. Now, notice I'm still doing the sneaky move by sliding the card over with my thumb, but that is what sells the illusion. Once you've done it a few times, you tell people to watch the red three, put it behind your back, give a little shake, and then you reveal that they were following the wrong card. When you bring it back, yes, they'll be amazed, but more importantly, you set it right back into position, so you just do that secret move again and show that the three was there the entire freaking time. If you're gonna do this in a darkened bar or up on stage, you could get away with just gluing two cards together to make a double backer and a double facer, but if you're up close, you want them to look legitimate. Also, as I speak, modern rogue t-shirts are being made. They look freaking amazing. Three different shirt designs to celebrate the three different aspects of the modern rogue. You've got the gentleman, the warrior, and the scoundrel. Time is running out if you wanna get the special pre-sale pricing. Once we get these in stock, it's gonna be $30 per shirt, but you can get them for $20 for a single shirt or $50 for all three if you go now to scamstuff.com. Guys, you're gonna love the t-shirts and I hope you dug the trick too. Yes, you can make it at home, but I strongly encourage you to get one with the fancy special card. Just head on over to monty.scamstuff.com, punch in your information, and for less than a new Taylor Swift single? single? Yeah, no, you're right, yeah. <laughs> Sound like an old man. <laughs> What y'all worried about? Get your jazz music off my lawn. <laughs>